safe travels. Happy holidays. Happy Kwanzaa, everybody. Stay safe trucking. Everyone's pretty talkative tonight. Yeah, we're the one delivering gifts with candy canes blinking all over them. I think we attract attention. I mean, a lot of people oh, are. Damn it, stop, stop, no! Okay. And it's raining again. Let's go, phone booth Ortiz! What <laughs> 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 that, that, that 41st Trying name on your list. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome. Orange Blake Kuyper here, Ortiz. along with Mike Kruko, on a great night for EA Sports Maxwell MVP House. Baseball. <laughs> and now, here's tonight's starting pitcher, Oliver Mug. Perez. Mug Costanza. <laughs> welcome to an American League game that features Blank the New Blank York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. Brewing down the stairs. <laughs> now it's playing. Fence. This guy has a great approach to hitting, and that makes oh, him just red a red light violation. Uh, yeah, dude, the turn things are really quick. I've been behind you for a few of them, and I have to, like, bump draft you through there to not get dinged. Oh, man, it's pouring now. Like, as soon as I saw the light, like, when you cleared the light, it's like, oh, it's already yellow. Yeah. And I'm already in the intersection. One of those things, like, even when I'm driving a real car, I'm like, ah, uh, it's safer for me just to accelerate and plow through here. <laughs> Sorry, but... Apparently I don't run red lights, but once in a while, like if I'm, the, if I'm coming up on the intersection and I'm doing 55 and it turns yellow, I'm like, ah, it's probably a better idea for me just to go through here. I feel like, like it's raining or something, where smashing the brakes is a bad idea. I felt like a situation where that other guy was just going to pile through either way and just clean us both out and then blame us. I've only had that happen once, but... Do you ever end up stuck in the ghetto? Not in truck sim. <laughs> they don't let us venture off of highway. Oh jeez! Woo! <laughs> he caught something. He's back. Yeah. I thought he was hurt. He caught Corona. Out for the season. Turning here. Trying to turn. Oh, rain! Rain tires. Got some twisty bits. Yeah, I haven't discovered these bits. Oh, whoa, we got some downhills. Whoa, 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 whoa guys, whoa. We feel like we're in town, yet we're going downhill. Get around town, and then you do this, and this, and whoa, we're picking up. You look like you're gonna flip. Now you're going through a tree. Fuck that tree. That was a bush, actually. Yeah, fuck George Bush. Is his Have you ever looked at the stock market history of Ford? No. They were like $31 a share in the late 90s. And then, of course, the recession of 09, it tanked pretty hard. And then, uh, but during the coronavirus pandemic, when it first started in March, shares for Ford were down as cheap as $1.50. And now they're up to like eight fifty or something. But still, like, they were $31 at one point. But that's a huge lot. Like, and they were like fifteen dollars, like four or five years ago. Guess you lose value in your stock when you don't make cars anymore. Make Mustangs and trucks. Tony, do you wish Lowe's is still sponsoring Jimmy Johnson? No, his pictures are finally going down. It's awesome. <laughs> I was going to say, you probably get paid more now that you're no longer sponsoring him. Time to put up the Mike Skinner. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, hey, whoa, I got damage for that? What the fuck, man? Who's that coming? guy? That's Keep Iron Mike. God. That's, uh... Fuck, what was it? Uh... That's Mike Quick. Yeah. Oh! Whoa! Yeah, you got damage too, dog. I got damage too. I don't understand yeah. that because, hey, this is a marked mo marked road, and B, it's not like there's any other way to get through there. Yes, maybe I should have driven slower or something. But I don't know. I I'm guess. Nine percent damage know. now. I got ten. Thanks. 
No balls, How many percent damage do the Red Sox have, Tony? Oh, right now, 99%. <laughs> he catches the plate for a strike. His strikeout tally in the season is not, not completed. Perez misses. The count is one and two. That was a purpose pitch. He was trying to get the batter to chase. He gets strike three swinging. Raw hey, milk? What does that mean? This righty is no slouch. Oh, now I have 16% damage. Didn't you just fix your truck? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have. Oh, that's Burns, okay, never mind. Here comes the first pitch of the at -bat. I don't really have anything that's, uh. Damn. Oh, you know, if you look at the map, it shows you, like, what cities have completed their goal. Yeah. Pull to the right side. To Colorado, with, like, the whole state's yellow. <laughs> He's here with a single. Nobody's going into Mexico. California's kind of up there, because they're all states. Guerrero sends it to short. That takes care of the side with the runner left on first. Heading into the bottom of the second. No score here. A ball. This dude has a bevy of pitches in his hand. I think it's probably short. Barrera misses, running the count to 2 0. There's a strike. That is pinpoint control right there. The catcher set a target on the corner, and the pitcher just hammered it for a strike. But it burns. He reaches with a leadoff single. Next up, David Ortiz. He catches the plate for a strike. This guy usually pitches deep into the game whenever he starts. You will not see him tire out very often. The pitch is hit to center field. The catch is made. Middle in, don't play depth. Stepping in, Manny Ramirez. This guy swings a decent bat, but he's probably not going to win any batting titles. Kai, stealing bags is like a game of chess. It's about timing and outmaneuvering your opponent. Let's see if this runner tries to go for it. Right he fooled the batter on that pitch out of the strike zone for a swing and strike. Got him. Hey, Kai, he was able to get ahead in the count, the batter never caught up. Good strikeout. I was on the uh, MLB The Show subreddit yeah. today, and somebody suggested that uh, MLB 21, they remove check swings entirely from the game. That you push X, you swing, no matter what. We can do Burns if you still have that one. Yeah, I got it. I Not my that one. That's the stupidest thing I've ever read. Why would you take away any form of realism? These, I guess, or he's mad that he was check swinging on balls, I guess. I don't know. In there at the Terrific pitch there, partner. He put the fastball right where he wanted it. I have no strike. opinion. Easy play for the right fielder. Out number three with a man left on first. Er, I do have an opinion. I just choose not to state it. That's for the best. The, yeah. the game is scoreless. Did you listen to the Blue album yet? No, I didn't, but I listened to River. And I've heard yeah, that, song that song several times. It's not very good, is it? It's a very good song. What? The inside outs the pitch to the right side. It's a Christmas song. Base hit to lead off the is inning. That's a tough hit right there. I think so. It sounds like it. Well, so does why does it hurt when I pee? Batter steps in against left-handed pitching. I'm not even kidding. It, it, if you listen to it, it sounds like a Christmas song. Did she write that too? No, Frank Zappa wrote that in the Joe's Garage album. Ah, good song. 
Yes, I watched your stream the other day when you Google searched Frank Zappa for two minutes and then shut the stream <laughs> off. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I, saw, I got a notification on my phone, like, tell him he's now streaming, and I'm like, oh, cool, baseball, and then, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, this is the Aaron Rodgers looking guy. <laughs> the guy that you put on the Facebook thing where you're like, I play the game like two minutes later. Yeah, but you didn't stream it. Yeah, I did. Did you? Yeah. I never got another notification. He swung through it for strike three. <laughs> I was trying to find the video that I wanted After and I couldn't find half, it. No score yeah, then so I'm watching like... some of your other streams and you're like biography panel something or another I'm like what are we listening to <laughs> Henry Ford was a great man <laughs> <laughs> uh, man the Dale Jr. download off season is getting pretty rough yes <laughs> huge rock knee in 1902 <laughs> <laughs> Damon lays off outside for a ball. Hey partner, if the pitcher can keep the ball low in the zone, he might be able you to... You know the Browns made the ball league ball. championship in 11 of their first 12 seasons of existence, winning it seven times, including five in a row? Otto Graham, man. Like me on Madden. Couple of quarts of beer. Ball four. We were down in Joe's garage. <laughs> One more time. This guy is a pretty decent hitter. Takes a pitch just off the plate. One and zero. They set that defense at double play depth. Happy Christmas to you, Zach. Thank you, dog. It is now midnight on the Eastern Front. Tony will have to wait another six and a half days. Oh yeah. Number twelve. I just blew up. What? I just blew up. That's a thing. Nah, I just my truck shut off. Oh, Tony, I blew up at Delta Sim the other night. Sorry about that. You mean yesterday? I, yeah, last night. Yeah. But the worst can, part of it was it was a race with three people. Yeah, I ended up on the podium. Who won? Ziggy. He was gonna win anyway. He wasn't shifting and I was shifting and I was like two tenths off of him still. I don't know why he was so fast. It had something to do with him changing the setup ten minutes before the race started and it was on a track Pro that he grip hacked. Probably something to do with that, I would agree. Actually, I lost fourth gear like three laps into the race and then I made it 71 laps before the engine blew. I hope this light changes. Please change. Not change. gonna change, not gonna change, not gonna change. Unless you're turning left. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Triangle Action Jackson slide. Oh my god, <laughs> Berkman is you me. Said, you just sent somebody home. You never do that. You know, I scream it every time. Send him. You're like, no. Wow. What did Lance Berkman turn into Ricky Henderson? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> took him like eight years to cross third. Makes his way to the play. This guy could kill you on pitches in on the hands. Oh. And the batter went around. X wing. It should be illegal, man. Thompson oh, there it goes. Deep the right field. Oh. The pesky pole. Did you wrap it around the pesky pole, Tony? No. It went 200 feet. Ah. 
That guy out there throws strikes. I thought that was a home run to right field. No, that's left field at Fenway. It's only 300 to pesky pole. Takes a pitch high. Sometimes you go green, go green, go green. Exactly Back in the change. He walks him to put runners on first and second. Hey, partner, he showed a lot of patience in that AB. He took and took until he finally got the free pass. Next up, Manny Ramirez. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1 0. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Makes a pitch high. Two balls and two strikes. Have you ever had where you blew up in 2003 and it like locked the right rear brake up? Now. And now it's a full count. I'm wondering if that's possible. I think so. Because that's that's what happened to me last night. Like I blew up and it just I couldn't tell if it was the right rear or the right front, but it locked the brakes up, and then I just had no control over the car and it spun. Weird. Must have been a catastrophic engine failure. Well, I know sometimes when you have an engine failure, like completely goes out, your RPMs go to zero, and it spins out then. Yeah. Like, that's what I thought it was, but then I watched the replay, and it's like, for some reason, the brake locked up, and I was not on the brake. I don't know, I got the replay, but... is brought to you by EA Sports. EA Sports, it's in the game. Gonna hit every stupid light. Oh, there we go. If that one changed. Slider for a strike. Great pitch in the black. What are the Umberjack, the musical. And then by Jack Lynx. <laughs> Feed your wild side. Yes, for only nine dollars an ounce. Two and two. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. The count is full. That one splits the outfielder. Over the shoulder. What a catch. Oh, I better make this light. Better make this light. Made this light. Swings and lifts one to right. I better make this light. the catch to record the out. Fairway, stay in the fairway. Didn't make the light. Tony, I've been practicing on the World Golf Tour app if you'd like to play. We will play after this game. Okay, I will play after I'm done trucking with Zach. Yes. Probably be close to done at the same time this game is over. Yeah. Especially if we keep hitting these red lights every 300 feet. Yes. Zach, would you like to play some golf? You know, dog, I think um, I have a math test to take. I'm going to take it right now. <laughs> Got some laundry to do. I'll go, I'll go do that. I played two 18-hole games on the app for World Golf wow. Tour. And the first one I shot a plus 17, and the second one I shot a minus 3. <laughs> wow, what did you do on your plus 17? I played at a very hard course with very hard greens and very hard tee boxes. Did you hit a tree? Um, I mean I think I hit some leaves, I didn't hit like trunk. But you did hit a tree. Yes. And then the minus three was at Kiowa, which is, I think, a fairly easy course that we've played a lot, so I know it pretty well. And on three pitches, he's gone. Three pitches, three strikes, doesn't get easier than that, partner. The next 
batter is Lance Berkman. Are you ready for Big Ten basketball tomorrow? Yay! Red and green. <laughs> like it was intentional or something. Was it? Are they gonna wear red and green uniforms? Cause that would suck for colorblind people. Fuck them. Yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> Engine malfunction. Nice. Oh no. Yeah, I think when you get to that point, you probably should fix it. You'll probably get fined for that. Yeah, I just gotta hope there's no way stations between here and Bend. Well, we're pretty much staying in the state, and we're in the middle of nowhere, so I wouldn't think there is one. Right. Yeah, I hope there's a serv service station or dealer or something in Bend, though, too. There probably is. Probably. Tony, start. Devin's, this is a non-PPR league. Are you in the Super Bowl? Yes. Ooh. Oh, yeah. What league is this? This is Arby's. We have the cleats. Oh shit, dog. Let's go get the cleats. Yes, the money league that we didn't know was a money league until this week. Oh shit. Well, it's traditionally like every year it's been a money league, but we never agreed on what it would be this year, so we just decided to make it what it was last year. Um, these are the running backs I had last week: Devin Singletary and J.D. McKissick. Now. I picked up Le'Veon Bell, and Miles Gaskin may be coming off the COVID-19 list. If I can start three running backs, including the flex, which three do you start? All of them are terrible. No, I'd start Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell? Yeah, because Elair's out, so he's going to get the, a, a workload. What he does with it, I don't know, but he's going to get carries. He'll That's probably what I'm saying, get, like, Tony. I... I Good. I'm not starting Singletary because he was bad even last week. Yeah. He just got a 51-yard touchdown run that won me the game. But you have, what, two running back spots and a flex? Yeah. What are your other flex options that aren't a running back? Um, Marvin Jones Jr., Cole Beasley. Um... Yeah, I know. It's amazing I've made it to the Super Bowl with these guys. Marvin they Jones all has kicked ass this year. And nobody uh, I haven't started him hardly at all because the one week I did start him, he sucked. I have Devontae Parker, but he's injured or questionable or something. He had a leg injury and he missed last week. Well, I mean, I would start Le'Veon Bell and then McKissick. He's with the Washingtons, I think. If, I think Peyton Barber is going to be healthy, and if that's the case, I wouldn't start him. But if, right. if, if, if Barber's out again, Gibson's Gibson's back too because yeah. Gibson's got a turf toe. He's not going to be 100 percent for the rest of the year for sure. And the count is three and zero. Yeah, I think that would be. I mean, of the of the running backs you have, like Tony said, they're pretty much all terrible. But yeah. you kind of want to just start the ones you think are have the biggest workload, and Bell's obvious number one in that list. Who's right. And it, uh. I'm rotating between Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson, but this week it's going to be Rodgers. That's why you're in the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I know, he's got... Oh yeah, dog, there's a service station well, left up here. Oh, good. Well, the one week the week where Russell Wilson had a bye, because I was starting Russell Wilson all season, the week he had a bye was the week that the Packers played the Buccaneers, Ooh. so I got like three points from him. So then I was like, man... Rogers sucks. I'm not going to start him anymore. And then lately, Wilson's been sucking, so it's like, Rogers, you're the man. Be all over that shuffleboard court. Oh, there's a water main break. Oh, yep, that's Bend. So, definitely Le'Veon Bell. I don't know. I'm Miles Gaskin is a very good matchup against the extremely porous Raiders D. Well, if you have to start two running backs, I don't. I mean, that wouldn't be a terrible. The only problem with that game is that it's a Saturday, so. Well, and the other problem with it is that Dalvin Ahmed was very good last week, and Gaskin's coming off the COVID return list. That'll be my issue. I'm going to run into if Keenan Allen's on a snap count. His game isn't until four o'clock on Sunday, so it's like. 
And with the defense, I can wait it out because I was telling Zach I have either the Colts defense against the Steelers, who are extremely non-offensive lately, and then I have the Browns defense against the Jets, who are are always extremely non-offensive. But I can decide that on Sunday because all my basically all my other guys are playing on Saturday. My two wide receivers are Adam Thielen and Calvin Ridley, so that's another reason I've been in the in the hunt most of the season. Yeah, those are good ones. Look at that, a water main break. Wouldn't have guessed it. Alright, I have gifts to Lakeview if you want to do another short one. You have time before baseball's over. What inning are you in, Tony? The fifth. Ooh. I could probably do it. Uh, I don't know if I can... I can't get it in there like this. I'd be able to turn around over here. Triangle! Triangle! Go for it's third, the man! Home run. Go for four. Wendy's. Hey, oh. Stop a second. Name. Hey, he's only got like 40 speed. And he's only has two more bases to go. Probably had Wendy's for breakfast. That's why he can't run. <laughs> You watching this, Zach? Watching what? Me trying to back up like an idiot? No, dog. I'm in the the map. Good. Tony, are you retired from I racing? Semi retired. Oh! He's around third. Oh, and that started raining. Do not plan on I racing for this week. Me neither. David steps into the batter's box. Right, the runner on second better get a pretty good jump. He wants to make it home and hit the left field. That guy out there throws strikes to home plate at will. Part of this guy's had a field day on balls in under his hands. No swing. He swiped six bases. Man, I suck at this. Two and one. Sometimes you try to make a hit or change your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. The count runs full. He comes up, he's got it. What a tremendous oh boy. play. That's the final out of the inning with a runner stranded on second. Brett Moffat is getting cheese gratered on Twitter over masks. Oh gosh. He's like, Dear Santa, all I want for Christmas is the land of the free to return to being just that. And somebody said, in response, Dear Santa, all I want for Christmas is we roll out the vaccine safely and people stay quarantined. And he responded, that is not freedom. And then people just went crazy. <laughs> I mean, I'm reading all of his tweets. Ooh. I mean, I understand his point. Small businesses are dying and stuff. So, I mean, I understand that, but... Oh, BRB. It's, it's back and forth thing. It's absolutely no big deal what he said. No, and I, I, I agree with what he said. To an extent, I mean, we shouldn't just let loose because, oh, small businesses are dying. We have to keep people safe, but at the same time provide relief to those businesses. You can't just shut everything down and then not expect, you know, people to be okay with that financially. You have to... That's what the whole point of the 
relief act is that they keep pushing off. Like, okay, you want to shut everything down, that's fine, but you got to compensate us for that. Otherwise, you know, we're going to be screwed. Sorry, I'm back. Um, Ooh, Ortiz with a gold glove play at first. Yes, went right to him. <laughs> hey, yeah, take like a step off the bag. You want right, to be I, done or you want to go down to Lakeview? We could do Lakeview. We should be yeah, able to get that, that done real quick. Too long. All right, I just took it. Okay, me too. We're not too far from the Walberts. Hey, there's a trailer for the winery we just went to. I saw someone else was getting cheese grater over that too, I forget who it was. Oh yeah, there's been a lot of people. It's just a tough situation. That's why you don't Everybody have has Twitter. different... Everybody has different opinions. And keep them to yourself, otherwise you'll get in trouble. Well... It's true! Okay, this dude needs to keep his head up. I mean, if your opinions are yeah. exterminate the Jews, that's a pretty terrible opinion anyway. Could get destroyed for that. But if your opinion is Diet Coke is better than Diet Pepsi, well, that's irrelevant because diet drinks suck. I think it's funny when JB says all this stuff because I'm pretty sure he's not serious and Tim and Kevin get triggered over it. No, I don't think. I'm pretty sure JB doesn't think like that. Like, JB's the one that says he hates Trump because Trump caused the XFL to be over. <laughs> That's totally <laughs> legit. <laughs> if, you, if you get in the way of between JB and semi pro football, but it, you're done. He's also, he's also the one who Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it goes. You won't eat Chinese food until the XFL comes back. <laughs> Where's this gas station? Oh, it's up here a little bit. I got, I'm gonna stop. Okay, I'll stop also. I'll probably make it, but I'm not Kevin with my 800 gallon tanks. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no. oh. oh shit, there it goes. Oh, how did he catch that and not die? He was full sprint into the wall. I'm just kidding, I will not be fueling up. I will be repairing damage. The plan. Cheater made it look easy on that out at first, guy. Twenty twenty one extravaganza schedule been completed yet? Yeah, I actually do have it. Right, when are you gonna release it? After the race. Ooh. Are you gonna have an announcement for an announcement to announce the schedule? Well, I'm gonna announce the qualifying results, and then there'll be the. 70 Riverside race, and then after that, at some point, there will be a schedule. He comes up ah, I'm caught on the... Lee. Tony, I f oh, s Tony, I forgot what I rated as my number one song on the Blue album. But I think I want to switch California with Kerry. I think Kerry is better. You fucking can't. I'm fucking stuck. A B, R B, or B right there. I just gotta back up and go around it. Do you need me to come slam me out of the way? No. I just gotta take this wider. Alright, we're good, we're good. Good. Two balls, 
strikes. Those gas stations are kind of tight to get out of. Could have just come That's... in the back way and then pulled forward out instead of trying to go in and then go back and then turn around. Like, I caught a glimpse of the gas station and I was like, oh, I, th I thought it was going the opposite way. So I came in and then because it's raining, when I slammed on the brakes, I just slid right into the scale and got damage. Nice. Tony, do you think uh, Speed Racers win in the Transylvania 1000 should have counted? The Transylvania 1000? Yeah. Did I show that? you that video? No. Did I show you the video? Oh. It's a commercial for NASCAR. Is it a Dracula commercial? No. The Jeff Gordon commercial. But it does have John Kernan in it, which is cool. He basically stopped existing on broadcast in 1996 but still did the NASCAR tonight and today actually I think Kenny Mayen did today Kernan did tonight Get into right field. He makes the play. can't picture Kenny Mayen as a NASCAR guy I was gonna say like the sports center guy yeah what Base is empty with one out. We forget that there is some um, football and baseball fans that can also be NASCAR fans. Doesn't mean he was a fan, just means that was his job. Like, a lot of the highlights, or a lot of the videos I've seen have, like, highlights from Sports Center anchors, and it's like Carl Ravitch and Stuart Scott. <laughs> Stuart Scott, like, Mike Tirico. I think Mike Tirico is at the ESPN. Yeah, anytime ESPN talks about NASCAR, it's like Ryan Newman, Chase Elliott. Yeah. The one I was surprised about was Rich Eisen. Rich Eisen was with ESPN? Yeah, and he had like no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> oh, Yankees are coming back. Oh, yeah, they're really going ham. Hey, they're a bloop and a blast and a blast and a bloop and a bloop and a blast and a blast and a bloop away from coming back to this one. I prefer more blooping and less blasting, please. What inning are the Yankees in? Nine singles letter. Seventh later. inning. Ooh, good timing for us to finish trunking. How many events, or how many uh, gift events do you have, Zach? What do you this like, will be five? either, yes, be five or six. I think the events go through the 20th, so I'm sure I'll check this out. Since I can do shorter trips and I can do them anywhere instead of like confined to one state, it'll go by a lot quicker, I think. Yeah. Giles takes ball one. Fill up all of the momentum I can for this ramp. He jacked that one way back and gone. Hey, Kite, there are not too many ballparks that would have held that one. Whoa, don't cut. Oh, I almost just killed this guy. <laughs> Stepping in, one for two, Rich Thompson. Who is that? Jimmy I just passed him. Fizzerald. So he just wants to come out and give the bullpen some more time. I got like a smudge in my glasses and I was looking at it and then almost clobbered him. <laughs> Take your glasses off, dog. And here comes the hook. Here comes a new pitcher. I got rid of the Night smudge. is for chumps. Tony, I was devastated after the Southern 500. What happened? Uh, Jeff Gordon won. <laughs> oh no! Oh, why were you devastated? Because Hutt led like 143 laps. Oh, it was that one! I'm yeah. Sorry. It's like, man, if only Felipe Lopez's strategy allowed him to have good tires near the end. I mean, Gordon was like 14 seconds back and ran him down without a caution, so good for him. I mean, there's only three cars on the lead lap, though. You beat everyone else, like, lap the entire field except for the guy that wins, that wins everything. Who finished third? Mark Martin. Oh. He's on a hot streak.
but has yet to win this season, but he is on a hot streak. How did he do it walking with Lennon Sonoma? Mark Marin? Yeah. Mm, I think at third at the Glen. He didn't start on the pole and win like usual. I don't remember how he did it at Sodoma. Somebody on the uh, NASCAR subreddit uh, bought uh, a 95 Chevy pickup that was owned by Dale Sr. and came with like a sign title and everything. Ooh. I couldn't find how much I paid for it today, but Dale paid like 29995 for it in 95. It had like a Richard Childress letter of authenticity with it too. Letter hereby certifies this Chevy pickup was driven by Ralph Dale Earnhardt. Still in pretty good condition too. Apparently it was sold in Florida. Lakeview. Yeah, why would you have a town called Lakeview in Oregon when it looks like this? Lakeview, more like dead grass. Wish you had a lake view. Maybe it's like in holes where the lake dried up. Keep digging! <laughs> One ball, two strikes. Remember Rusty won at Sonoma. That was his first road course win since 1990. Hit towards first base. Ooh, the rusty wall is being cut on road it's courses. It's kind of disappointing though, like every time he wins, every time Earnhardt wins, it's like, man, you guys only won 10 races over the next like 10 years, and like Earnhardt, you only won like 5 races over the next 6 years. You would have never guessed. Ramos watches a ball like they were so dominant. Well, nobody knew Dale Jarrett was going to be good, or Jeff Burton, or Bobby Labonte, you know. Or Mark. Well, Mark, I, you can see that. But it got very competitive. Yes, but we didn't know Mark would be doing it for like 20 more years. Hey, that's a great play on a very tough line drive. That's one of the toughest balls in baseball to judge. He delivers. I want to see Junior Motorsports put him in a car. <laughs> and then go Elliot. Yeah. I remember being here before, I think. Me and Spears went here once. Yep, these roads have been explored by me before. I think you were probably here too. I don't think Tim was though. You know what this looks like, dog? This looks like Eastern Colorado. Yeah. This is more like desert though. Yeah. It pops up to detach your trailer, and then it, as you roll a little bit further, it goes away. So you hit T and... Yeah. I think I did that like on the first job we had. With 8 to 4, here come the Yankees. Ooh, come back. Don't say such words. Come back. I'll just ask the Falcons how that's working out for them. That was job number six. A liner. Base 
him to lead off the inning. That's a nice piece of hitting. Stepping up to the plate with a single already, Lance Berkman. Out of the zone, that's a ball. Pitch taken for a ball. This could be a good situation to hit run guy. This guy usually puts the ball in play. Pitch misses for a ball. Three and one, a hitter's pitch. Three, two count. The wall. Back, he showed a great eye right there. He was patient, worked the pitcher, and ended up with a free pass. The Yankees go to the bullpen. They're going to the pen. Runners can advance at their own risk. The Yankees have called down to the pen to get a right-hander warming up. Change misses downstairs. Hey, partner, if the pitcher can keep the ball low in the zone, he might be able to induce a ground ball to start two. Jackson lays off ball two. the count. Strike called at the belt. Did uh, you guys hear about GoDaddy? Yeah, that's kind of like not right. Get the other way out to right. Thompson should have no problem. Get a nice pitch there to get the fly ball. Nice work. Jerkson steps into the batter's box. Hey, this guy at the plate can flat out fly. You better go right after him because you don't want to put him on for free. That's not a swing. He checked it in time. Pitcher looks a little annoyed with that call, Kai. He sure thought the batter went around, and I agree. Wow. Is, uh, that's Lima. And with that, the side is retired. With one inning left to play, Not really. It is 18 degrees outside right now with a wind chill of four Kodak Pontiac. They're making a pitching chin. The manager goes with the right. Also, the snow tonight and tomorrow. This is it. They're going to have to create some offense in a hurry. That one splits the outfielders. Good start to the inning. The leadoff single. That ball was tattooed. It had base hit written all over it. That's strike one. The ball is back. Way back. It's off the wall. He's rounding second. And a run scores. Guerrero strolls to the plate. those Yankees <laughs> how we doing how we doing how you feeling okay God is coming into the game to save us so good. <laughs> our, our relief pitcher one we have one relief pitcher the other guys are just stop gaps and that one's foul full readies for the 0 one pitch Kind of all the hitters got to do in this situation is look for a ball up and drive it to the outfield. 
A three pitch strikeout. He wants the run. That's got to reach back and come up with a pitch strikeout. Rodriguez is next up. He's got one. Fastball in there at the letters. If he can hit the ball deep in the outfield, they'll get a run. Yeah. Rodriguez is not elite. It's so weird with Keith Folt. Wow, you got a good call there. They're not even swinging. And they'll do this with Keith Fol. Like, what, what is that? <laughs> oh! Like 99 mile an hour fastball, 500 foot home run, 79 mile an hour fastball. What do I do? Uh, like, <laughs> like, come on! They're all sitting on fastballs. Yeah, you should make like, well, just your pitcher. Like he just pitches. Like there's no relief, there's no start, there's no close. He just pitches the whole game. Even with zero stamina? Well, at this point. Good win. You hung on against the comeback. Dude, Perez might win the Cy Young. Uh, really? 16 and 6. 3 3 3 ERA. Eh, that's not a very good era. Well, consider the era. Oh, everyone's healthy for the first time in years! <laughs> At full capacity. Yay. Might be a few minutes. I have to set my lineups here. Yes, he has to make adjustments now that his team is healthy again. Oh, yeah. I learned. I figured out how to put the board golf tour in full screen, so. worked out.
Yes! More people! <laughs> Yay! Jesus Christ. Yeah. Now we can send Benson to the miners! No, we're sending Miyagi to the miners. Fuck that shit. Oh. Wow, okay. <laughs>